Echo, Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Taloa, another episode I love. Spoils for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. Let's dive right in. So yeah, we open in 2008. And yeah, you know, well, Maya wants ice cream, of course. And yeah, the... the Ah, what's the word? Ice cream salesman, you know. It's one thing that he can like he's struggling to to cross the the communication barrier, but he is kind of rude, which is not to say that what happens is deserved at all. But yeah, Wilson Fisk, not the biggest fan of people saying or doing things to, to people that he feels very protective of. So, yeah, he, he curb, curb stomps him, saying, you embarrassed her in front of me. And, yeah, you know, he's like, okay, so get me a new suit. I really don't want Maya to see me with all this blood. Um, I think we're going to need a hose to get all the brain matter off my boot. But Maya saw the whole thing, and, you know, for, yeah, for, like, a, a second or two, it's like, oh, that's, yeah, she's not gonna see him as a good guy anymore. But no, she runs up, keep kicking him, keep kicking him, holy crap. And, let's see, yeah, and, and once Fisk feels he has sufficiently trained Maya, he has the interpreter shot and i it's it's so great cuz the it's awful that he does it i'm saying the the staging of it is really nicely done because like the very moment the fact that the the interpreter is walking off not by herself but that there's a guy behind her like immediately sets off alarm bells and then we see that the, the, you know, she's walking down, there's like, there's a bunch of a plastic, you know, on the floor and covering, so it's like, yeah, this is, you know. And she even says, I don't know anything, I'm not going to tell anybody anything, but she's still shot. And, yeah, back in the present, Maya and Fisk talk, and he got her an accessory, and I feel like he could have communicated to her this isn't going to hurt before, you know, yeah, shoving a thing in. I feel like this is going to be, like, I don't know if there is a community that's, like, you know, ban all contact lenses. But if there is, I'm pretty sure a clip of this scene is going to make it into their, their like, campaign videos or something. Because, like... My God, did that! It it did not look like oh, you know, this is gonna help us communicate. It looked like you took my eye. I'm gonna take yours. And let's see. Yeah, and and you know the this a yeah he basically calls it an ASL accessory. So that's let's go with that. You know, it is yet another case of Fisk trying to force things to go his way. I have no idea if something like that exists, and if so, how it would be received by the the sign language community. So I'm not going to, I'm not the right person to speak on that. But the way it is in this show so far, it is, yeah, that's, you know, it's Fisk getting his way. And, and I like the, you know, he's like, you know, I, I taught you everything. I'm kind of impressed. And, yeah, you know, she points out violence was always our language. And I really love that. So, yeah, you know, the wine, I'm, I'm thinking she's suspecting it's been poisoned. It's also possible that she's just like, you know, I don't forgive you. You you can't just show up with a bunch of presents and expect me to forgive you. You had my father murdered, you know. But the the yeah, you know, she signs, I'll pour the wine, 
and then we see her pour it into the the sink and afterwards she's like what what happened you know she she brings out like it, it's was a soda pop or beer or something like that you know cans you know so so not quite the same quality of of you know drink and yeah you know he asks and she's like no oh, i poured it poured it out the yeah poured it out the drain she you know she said i'm going to pour it she didn't say i'm going to pour it into a glass and let's see yeah very very tense dinner and and yeah he actually said you know you want my empire you can have it just come home and let's see then we have the um, uh what did i write Oh, right, right, yeah. Um, you know, Henry, you know, signs to, to Maya, why do you think I'm 45 and alone? And I'm just like, because that is how time and math work. And, yeah, we see both Jula and Maya having the visions and yeah, you know, Henry makes a lot of sense taking Maya to, you know, it's been mentioned several times that Chula has connections to the ancestors. She knows all about this stuff. Yeah, it's, you know, talk to her. These are, you know, like we the viewer have, have, um, yeah, like at, at this point, Maya must have figured out these have to be the ancestors, you know. The, the woman in the cave, you know, when she was a child, she knew that that was the first Choctaw. So, you know, she must have pieced together that that's what she's seeing. Seriously, though, with Henry, I do think it is, like, yeah, you know, him saying, you know, Fisk killed the people I cared about to make sure that I would still do the work. You know, this is, again, something that, yeah... You know, organized crime families try to control the people working for them. And, yeah, very tense reunion between Chula and Maya. I appreciate that Chula is at least trying. You know, she's like, um, would you like something to drink? I think I have some soda. You know, it's just... And, and Maya is like, can we not pretend like you haven't been ignoring me for 20 years? And, yeah, she explains about the, the dreams, the complications, when she gave birth to Maya's mother. And, you know, we have this thing that she specifically says, they took me out of the white hospital, and she was with her sisters, you know. And, yeah, um, sadly, there are there is a history in America of white doctors not taking proper care of non-white, you know, patient? Is that the right word? If it's pregnant? Let's go with that. You know, um, so, so yeah, this is, yeah, I, I really appreciate them bringing that up. And, let's see, yeah, and she points out, you know, the ancestors know when they are needed. And, yeah, ultimately, Maya does not forgive Chula, which makes a lot of sense. And, yeah, walks off, and, you know, Henry's like, how did it go? I don't know. Exhausting? And... <laughs> Lion King reference? Okay, I'll, that's, yeah. Quite fond of that animated movie, the, the original, not the... I haven't actually watched the remake yet. I, I plan to, and I dread it. And... Let's see. The, yeah. I figured you were coming to kill me. Again. And, yeah. She confronts him. And, you know, yeah. She points out, you know, this the, the accessory is just because you don't want to have to learn how to sign. And, you know, he offers her the hammer and tells the truth about what happened to his father, how his father was killed, 
We get the you know Maya gets the rest of the details, and yeah, he actually says you know if you really want to, you can you know you know if if all I hand you is a hammer, I'm probably gonna look like a nail. And yeah, she ultimately doesn't do it, and he says you know in the morning, come home and. You know, it seemed like she was about to, but she changes her mind thinking about all of her, you know, all these people that she, she cares about. And, yeah, you know, he gets the message on the plane. We tailed her, but she's gone. And he has one of his many, many, many and quite infamous, you know, angry outburst, you know, physical outbursts. And yeah, really looking forward to seeing you know the the finale, which I'm probably gonna watch tomorrow and do thoughts video on and I'll we'll we'll see if I if I actually do the review tomorrow or if that has to wait. I probably won't have a lot of time for it Monday, but maybe Tuesday. But, yeah, um, I think that might be everything I have about this episode. Just, yeah, they continue to, right, right, I like, you know, Biscuits saying, you know, Chula always says, there's nothing so broke that you can't fix it. Which is, of course, also this thing of, you know, because there's a lot of, let's see, yeah, before I did, let's see, yes, I feel like that is something, you know, that, that is something that I, I believe I've heard before, that, you know, Native American and in general, you know, cultures that developed significantly before modern technology, yeah, they would try to make sure something could be used for as long as possible, because you might not... Like, it might be, use a thing that technically still works, it's, you know, you just need to the, be careful now you use it, it might break, or something. Or just do without that sort of tool altogether. You might not have enough material to make a new one from scratch, you know. It is something that younger generations today also, you know, yeah. Um, are coming to, to realize, but there are a number of, you know, yeah, uh, here, here in the West, we are not as encouraged, or, uh, we, white people here in the West, are not as encouraged to make sure everything, like, you know, my father always taught me the, the value of that, but he, you know, had slightly unusual, you know, there, there's a lot of people my age in, in my social circle who don't really think too much of, of that, but I have seen that, you know, the, let's see, are they, is it the Zoomers, or is it the, I, I can never keep trying, I'm a millennial, one or several of the generations that came after me uh, have shown that they are also willing to, to work to fix something, instead of just throwing it out and expecting to get a new thing and let's see. Right, I guess I could just briefly and uh, see. Yeah, so there's four episodes for the four review episodes in the in, in the IMDb section. Three positive, one negative. Okay, let me just real quick see if I can find anything that makes sense. In the let's see, yeah, yeah, it's more of this crap of. I saw someone say this same thing about Jessica Jones, like, oh, you know, this actor can't make a more than one facial expression. That I look, I get it. A while back, that was the norm. We judged acting in part based on can they make very different facial expressions. But today, there's a lot of actors who are much more subtle than that. And it's just ridiculous to say about Alakwa Cox 
or I can't believe I'm, I gotta look up her name, or Kristen Ritter, and, you know, to claim that they're doing bad acting just because they, it's, it's subtle acting. Yeah.